Hey folks, this is Iowa Thrown back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Alex the Assassin. He's in a tier 8 game on Paris in the LT 432. So it's kind of continuing the trend of the white tanks that we started this week. And I love white tanks, so pretty much this is my Christmas gift to myself. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is going to be a short and sweet game, unlike yesterday's. So you can get back to Christmas with your families. You get some sort of, you know, something from the channel to have some fun with it too. Ooh, starting by trying to track a scorpion. Unfortunately, he doesn't manage to. He does manage to pull some attention from the local white tank though. And shoot him in the head before walking away. Also gets a shot into the scorpion. We got given a gift. <laughs> it's called a shot to the face. <laughs> That was awesome. Uh, watching the Scorpion G accept the gift from the G Dime Tiger P. Brilliant. Uh, I don't approve of the auto aiming here. I know it's because Alex keeps telling me his high pings, and every once in a while he has horrible lag spikes, so he auto walks on people so that he can continue to fire even if um, his ping goes a little crazy. Um, but uh, in in any other case, don't don't be doing don't be doing this. <laughs> um, wait, is that a platoon of M six A two E ones? It is. I am. Um, no, there's only two of them, but there's three of them in the game on the same team, and actually two of them in this on our team. Okay, it's a little weird. I've uh, it, it's weird to see one of them in the game. Never mind five of them in a the game. But uh, post up in this position we're actually getting quite a bit. Oh! That's a problem. Except uh, we bounced our first shot against him and he bounced our first shot against him so or you yeah, know whatever. We exchanged misses more or less. Uh, looking for a shot on the bulldog. Oh we'll find it. Uh, and then watches our as our counterpart gets distracted Jumps in on him, expecting to be able to do some damage. Does a little bit. Are we going to go jump on him? Because that would be awesome. Nope, apparently we're not going to jump on him. We're just going to sit here and farm damage off this guy. While he shoots at our our Hawk 12 in the middle of the map. Hawk 12 goes down. And, well, now we have pulled attention from everybody else. Most notably, their artillery. Who's also a GW P. Sorry about this, it's uh, still early in the morning. Um, I filmed this just after I filmed the, the game from yesterday, though I did get a little bit of sleep in between. Not enough as I worked the night shift tonight, so yay. <laughs> I'm trying to get more rest after this game too. It's just the way I get to record tonight, or today. Or, uh, or you guys aren't gonna get any recordings for Christmas week. So yeah. Uh, it's fine, I like it. Looking for the T32, T432, sorry. Um, but if we find the bulldog, that wouldn't be a bad thing. Hey, look at that, we found the bulldog, waiting for him to straighten out a little bit so the auto aim um, is not so bad and not actually able to get another shot into him, though we get, oh, look at that. We do not want to get another shot into that guy. Mostly because it'll give him the opportunity to return fire. And we don't want him returning fire unless we absolutely have to. Gun depression on this tank is actually pretty good. Don't crest that. Yeah, that was a bad plan. Um, apparently we're going to get away with it. But such a bad plan to crest that rise. Knowing the enemy tank could shoot at you. Um, gotta get out of here. There's no way Artori is not looking in our direction. I mean, it's already, and we're a white tank, that's pretty much how that goes. Um, looks like we're going to zip around the buildings and see if we can catch Artie looking the wrong way. Nope! Artie's looking this way, but we miss our first shot, and he wasn't paying attention enough to fire on. Okay, and now apparently he's just decided he's going to lose, so he turns around and kills one of our tanks. <laughs> Great. Well played by him, by the way. Um... Being able to get a kill just before dying is what our tower should be doing every time. 
but not necessarily what they are doing. Who is we bounce off the back end of our counterpart and then we let him walk away. And at this point in time he has more health than us. So we gotta really be careful if he decides to come after us. There's not gonna be much we can do about it. Although the hope that we can bounce him. But as it turns out he walks out and gets shot in the face by a round of Borsik, and that's gonna be the end of his game. Looking at IS3 sitting out over there, we ricochet off him too because Yeah. <laughs> That's just unfortunately the way it went. Um, scooting around this way, I assume it's because it's the safe way. I wouldn't have taken this route personally. I would have um, gotten to here and then started cutting across. Um, but taking this route all the way means you're gonna get there a little late. Oh, we do still get there in time to shoot him once. And then this gun finds us, ooh. Thankfully, not quite. And unfortunately, we do not get the killing blow. <sighs> we also don't get to die, so there's benefits there, right? All in all, this was a good game. If we hadn't taken that massive hit uh, from the SU-130 PM, uh, that would have been an outstanding game. Uh, but no, we crested a rise when we shouldn't have, and we got smashed for it. But oh well. Um, it's still worth it. Let's go ahead and jump over to the battle results. So, Master Badge, Ace Tanker, a couple of Bonds, Confederate, and High Caliber Award. Overall, this was a great game. 4,000 damage, 1,400 base experience, top on the team. Actually, by quite a bit, you add the next two together, and you're going to come close. And then after that, you're adding a lot of them together to come close. Um... So, well done. Just a great game, Alex. Uh, props to the artillery for that kill in the beginning against the poor Rival <laughs> Scorpion. That was glorious. Um, overall, made a ton of cash off this, even if we're taking, uh, you know, mission rewards and, and whatnot into account. And because apparently this was a particularly interesting mission where you got a 10,000 experience payout, it's a 15,000 experience game. Wow. And um, I, I want some of those, right? <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Have a great night. Go enjoy Christmas. And I'll see you later. I always route.